Alright, so in this video I'm going to show you how to put your series of DVDs onto your PSP or iPod. Now, what you need for this is obviously your disc, I'm going to use Futurama Season 4, and then whatever you want to put it on, PSP, then if you see that. Okay, you're also going to need two pieces of software. DVD Shrink and PSP Video 9 which are those two right there and there. Sorry about the bad camera but you know, gotta make do. Okay. Okay, so you want to open up DVD Shrink and then put in your disc and then click on open disk if anything like that comes up just click cancel open ok and then it will take what you need off the disk This will take like a couple of minutes if you're on a slow computer, fast computer, about 30 seconds. Okay, and when that's done, you want to click reauthor at the top. There. And then it will come up with a list of titles. If you're doing a main movie, then you just click the one with the biggest, the biggest one. If you just want to do the f each, when you're doing it, you want to do each individual episode. So you flip that across into the bit where it's under the DVD. Then you click, you go onto compression settings, and then make sure that's highlighted and get uncheck every box except for the audio you want so English top one and then you click back up for this you want to set it to a hard disk folder I've just got it in C and then don't worry too much about that as long as you can find it in the next program if that pops up because you've done a DVD before just click yes or re or cut, or cut and paste your old DVD into a new location and then this will happen and then you just need to leave that for it will take about 5 minutes so we'll resume when that's done ok so when that's done you'll get this box come up just press ok or open it up to see where your video is stored if it's your first time Close this because you don't need it now because you can't do two things at once else it crashes, which is not good. Okay, there's where your DVD is stored. It'll be, yeah, it's just that folder. Okay, and then now you want to open up PSP Video 9. Can take its time if you're on a slow computer again. There we go. Okay, so this is the latest version and it's like a bit different from the other one. So you need to click settings and make your your new profile. I just got that from someone else's uh video on YouTube, which I'll put in the links. Um it's how to make that wide screen. You just have to click new profile, make it and then go on edit profile and then that's all fine and then you click on the uh, DVD uh, the edit profile and then you want to just make it look like this 
which has uh, width 36A to a height 208 aspect ratio original frame rate. I've got it on 28 because it makes them a bit smaller. Uh, just match resolution, you need to just bump up a little bit. And then mode, that's important, you need to put that to ABR and the frame rate down, else it's not going to be very good. And then, because PSPs are quite quiet, put it on 300 instead of 200 um, percent volume. And then your bit rate, put it down to 64, because that's plenty good enough. And then just hit OK. Then you need to go to convert. Oh. God, if I was showing you it on that. Yeah, hit convert and then this screen will pop up. You need to click this button here in the, in the bottom left hand corner right here to select where your files are stored. You will have to go from my computer, look for your file, but mine is straight there because I've done it before. And then you want to set your title to whatever it, you want it to appear as on the PSP. And then put this to old, else it takes the mic, how long it takes, and then audio quality to medium, and then it'll be really quick, as you can see just there, and then click start converting. Now, on these smaller files, these this top bar here and the percentages and the time remaining are quite accurate but if you're doing a big film then just ignore it and go by the column over this side where it says frame rate and I mean file size and go by that but yeah this will take about uh, the film itself and a half more likely yeah, because it takes about half an hour for this film and it's 20 minutes long. So yeah, just wait for like, wait for it to finish. And then as long as that's still going up, it's fine. And then we'll resume and this is finished. Alright then, when it's done, you'll get no like pop-ups to say it's finished or anything. It, the screen will just go and the, the green bar will like not be green anymore. Then you just click onto your library, and then this is when you need to connect up your PSP. You just click it on. And then go across to USB connections and click that. And then you just plug it in. Again, you just ignore the pop-ups. You might need to, if you don't plug it in before you come to this page, you'll have to go back and then come back to it and everything will be there. Then you just simply click the file that you want and you go either, if you don't want any like, if you don't want to save it onto your PC, you choose these buttons here. If you don't want to save it, you just click move to device. If you want it to stay on your computer so that you can give it to your mates, whatever, you can uh, click copy to device, that's what I'm going to do. And then you'll get the, the file transfer window come up. Then when that closes, you just disconnect from USB mode and then go across to your films open it up and there you have it nice high quality all done thanks for watching comment if you want if you have any more questions then just yeah, message me or comment